We're going to learn how we can double click on an object in a list box and trigger an event when that happens. You see we have a list box called LST months and we have a label LBL message. We're going to use that to display information from what was double clicked. Now when we actually double click during the design we get to a selected index changed event. That's not what we want. So we'll delete this and go up in this middle section right here you see all the objects that we have or all the controls we have on our form and we'll select LST months. Next to that are all the events that are possible with a list box. There's tons of them. We specifically want the double click event. Now we have it. We want to display a message about the object that was double clicked. We'll put that in our label LBL message. We're going to use the selected item property. So we'll say you double clicked on. I'll use a plus sign this time. We've learned to use an ampersand. Both ampersands and plus signs work to connect these strings. LST months dot selected item dot to string. Let's run the program and see what happens. Just what we expected. When we double click on an item, we get the selected item. We can also use the selected index property to find out what the number is for the position or the index of the item that was double clicked. Because that will make it a currently selected item. So we'll say that we're located at index and then LST months dot selected index dot to string. And we'll check this out. And we got the name of the item and the proper index. You can actually select an item with a single click. We were just using a double click to trigger an event. Well, let's code our reset button. We want to unselect any objects that were selected in the list box. We can do that by assigning a selected index of negative one. When the selected index is negative one for a list box, that means no items are selected. We'll also, I'm putting in the documentation clear the message. We're actually going to reset the message to how it appeared when the program first began with the instructions to double click on an object in the list box. So when we reset, nothing is selected and we get a reset message in our label. Well, this all works quite well as long as there are actually objects inside the list box. What if there weren't any items inside the list box? Well, let's take a look. We'll get rid of everything we had. There's nothing in there. And we'll double click on the list box. And it's a disaster. Our program is going to crash because there's a null reference exception because there's nothing there in the list box. You can't execute a dot selected item or dot selected index method. So we really need to make sure that there is actually something in the list box. We can do that by making sure that the count property items.count is greater than zero. If it is, we're safe. So we will slide the code we already wrote into a spot where we know we're safe. And we'll be nice and generate an error message for users so that they know that there is nothing in the list box. And now our program should not crash. We'll repopulate the list box with the months that we had. And now everything works the way we were planning. Again, this is a way to use a double click event in a list box. You can also single click on a list box to select items and maybe click a button after that 
but the point of this was to learn how to double click.